Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is BMAC and I'm here helping you quit your nicotine addiction. Guys, I am trying to be consistent with this channel. I know I didn't upload last week. I was in the beautiful Adirondacks, New York and we were at Rockhead Lake. It was a beautiful time. I'm showing a drone shot I took right now. You can see there's nothing around but trees, water. But anyway, we got a video this week and this week we were talking about saying no to nicotine after you quit. Guys, when you quit vaping, that is only the beginning. The next days, weeks, and even years will be hard for some people and actually not too bad for others. It all depends on your withdrawals, your mind, and your body. But the hardest thing for most of you to do after quitting nicotine is saying no and staying quit from nicotine. And I'm not just talking about the week after you quit or the month after you quit. No, you have to say no to nicotine for the rest of your life or else just like that, as soon as you say yes to that one hit, it could all come crashing right back into your life and you could start vaping again. Because it's inevitable that you're in a situation where someone's hitting a jewel or someone's hitting a vape right next to you and you either wanna ask for a hit or they offer for a hit. You have to say no every time. You know what happens when you hit it that first time? Your brain remembers that nicotine. Your brain remembers what it feels like to feel good with that nicotine. And before you know it, you're back at the store buying jewel pods. It's not just other people that will trigger you too. It's the places you used to hit it. So if you're sitting on your couch, you may start thinking you want to go to the store and buy nicotine. You might just get up out of nowhere and want to go get it. And you know how I know that? Because that's how I felt. I was alone on the couch watching TV and I wanted to get up and go get nicotine. But I continued to say no and I do to this day and that's why I'm still quit. What I did to stop myself from going to the store and getting nicotine was one, willpower. I told myself that it was just a craving. I told myself it will pass and I'll get through this. And I convinced myself I would be okay without nicotine and that's how I was successful. But also what I did when I felt like I needed to get up and get nicotine, I changed what I was doing. If I was sitting there watching TV, I got up and went for a walk. If I was playing video games, I went for a bike ride. I did something different. I changed what I was doing so I could switch to something else, get my mind on something else and continue to work on being nicotine free for the rest of my life. So those are my two recommendations after you quit so you can continue to stay quit from nicotine. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I appreciate it. And I hope you continue to stay quit from nicotine and stick around. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.